Hey everybody, welcome back to another PSA reveal from Gem Mint Masters. I've got a 22 card submission here. Uh, my last one, uh, my last reveal, which is actually my first, so this is number two. Um, that one took about 10 weeks from PSA. I submitted this one about, I can't remember if it was two or three weeks after that, but I got it one week after. So again, you really never know how quick PSA is going to move with these things. Um, but this one did come back a little bit quicker. Uh, I've got some more sitting there now and I'm noticing that they're getting through the stages a little bit quicker. So stay tuned for a couple uh, more exciting reveals here within the next two weeks to a month, I would say. Um, I think I have three more there. So we're going to see some good ones. Um, this particular order is mostly Bowman Chrome Autos. Um, there are a few football cards again sprinkled in here, so we'll see those. Um, and there's one card in here that, uh, as you'll see, don't know what the heck we did wrong on that one, but um, uh, but yeah, so we'll 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 get to that, and you'll and we'll kind of see. Maybe we'll take a closer look and see if we can figure out what what was going on with that one. Um, again, 22 cards, mostly uh, baseball, Bowman Chrome. Um, we're looking for that gem rate of 50% or higher. So let's see if we can get there. Um, I've got my little Stormtrooper stand here that uh, I think it's a, actually a phone stand, but it works perfect for PSA slabs. So if you're looking for something a little more fun to display your cards, um, that's a good one right there. So without further ado, let's get to it. Um, as I mentioned before, you know, my strategy with these cards is the three to $10 range. So a lot of these you're going to see, um, you know, I really don't go out there and try to find the hot prospects, the ones that are, that everybody's kind of going after. I, I look for the ones who are putting up good numbers or either triple A, double A, um, or, or, you know, right at, at the verge of that, um, guys with potential that, you know, are also getting some love out there, um as far as uh, their cards go. So, you know, again, these are kind of mid-range guys. Some of them, maybe not so much anymore, but but as we, as you see in this video and future videos, um, you'll see that's kind of my strategy. So let's go ahead and get right to it here. We got a Mike Ciani 2019 green to 99 refractor auto. And we got a nine on that one. Um, again, a lot of people might not think this is a card to, to send in for grading. I'm a huge Cardinals fan, as you can see from Ozzy in the background there. Uh, this guy got traded to the Cardinals. He got called up. I thought, uh, you know what? Let's give it a try. I got a really good deal on this. I think it was a couple dollars. So I was like, you know what? Let's give it a try. Get a Mike Ciani. Um, so we got a nine on that. I'm going to go ahead and put that in the pile. That's not going to go on the Stormtrooper stand. We'll save that for another one. Uh, the next one, Kyle Stowers, um, again, that loaded Orioles system. I think I have three of these in here. I'm not hundred percent sure which one this is. So we will definitely see, um, as we go along. So let's go ahead and just flip it. And we got a nine and that is the refractor. So I've also got a blue and a purple in here. Not too bad. Um, he's been in the majors. I think once already last year, but I don't believe he made it this year, but he's a power hitter, a lot of potential, still fairly young guy, um, and you can get these for a pretty solid deal. Uh, so if you're looking again for that, the prospects like I am, the 3 to $10 range, um, depending on the type of parallel, you can get a good Mike Stowers or a Kyle Stowers out there. All right, the next one. I had one of these on the last one, and I don't know, looking back, why I sent these, but uh, Werner Blakely, this is the uh, refractor as well, and I got a nine on that one. So um, again, this is probably it's probably not going to return much on a on a nine on a Werner Blakely. Um, was highly ranked on the in the Angel systems, kind of dropped a bit, but uh, you know you never know. We'll see. So we may either hang on to that or we might sell it. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Uh, next one out of 2023. I think this is just a base auto. Again, normally I don't do base autos, but uh, I threw a couple in early 2023. 
this is, you know, this has been, again been sitting there almost two and a half months with PSA. And this is uh, Damon Keith, another one of the kind of under the radar guys. Um, and we got a nine. Um, this guy is actually in the Arizona Fall League right now as well. Um, you know, I, I don't, I kind of did my research on the Arizona Fall League and it's, it's one of those things. If you get the invite, um, you're definitely on the radar. So, um, I had this well before that, but it's good to see guys like Damon Keith getting the call to the Fall League and, uh, hopefully he can produce and do something. But again, we really want to see those in a 10. So we got some, uh, hopefully a little turnaround here to get this gem rate up a little bit over that 50%. All right, the next one, we're going to switch it up a little bit. we got Malik Willis, Prism Black Silver. Um, sent this one in quite a while ago. I don't know if there's much of a market for this, but, uh, you know, this guy should see some action, I would hope, pretty soon. And we got a 10 on that one, so that's great. That's good to see. So I'll probably sell this. I'm not a huge uh, collector of football, but, uh, you know, if I get something, I think is a pretty solid card, um, and it's worth the grade, and you know, a potential, uh, quick turnaround, then, then I will definitely do that. All right. So next we have, let's go with the O'Neill Cruise. I've got a couple of these in here from 2022 tops Chrome. Um, so this will either be the pink or the prism and that is the pink and we got a nine. So, uh, not much doing there, but you know, I don't know. O'Neill Cruise. Do we wait until next season until he comes back to, to do anything with these cards? That might that might be the best bet right now, um, but uh, you know as we as we know he got injured and missed most of the season, so hopefully uh, he can come back healthy and uh, start again. All right, next one we got Jack Brannigan, another guy in the fall league and another prospect in the Pittsburgh system that is doing pretty well. Um, I think he's actually getting a bit of notoriety, but uh, but again affordable cards. That you can find for a prospect that's that's got some good potential and that is the green out of 99 and we got a nine on that one okay so this nine stack is definitely building up i gotta say you know throughout all the submissions i've done i've been pretty darn good about getting any anything uh, over a nine or above so uh you know obviously we always want tens i definitely look over these cards very closely but um as i mentioned too i will take some risks if I think it's just a small flaw or something like that, I definitely want to see um, some tens. All right, so next one we got Juan Soto, 2022 tops Chrome, the uh, Magenta Speckle Refractor. This was such a cool looking card. I was like, I gotta just send this, and I thought it looked pretty good. And that got a nine. So uh, after looking at this, what I've noticed with the tops cards. The top and bottom centering, it's it's really hard to kind of see it, but uh, they they definitely most of their cards are off center, top to bottom, but left or right looks looks pretty solid, um, and they do definitely take that into account. Um, I'll have to see if I can find another card that I, I've got some tens and other cards like this, and I've noticed that uh, the centering top to bottom is is quite a bit different as you'll see. Um, but but they're hard to judge. It's it's weird with uh with all that text and logos at the bottom, it can be a little difficult. All right, so we'll do this next O'Neill Cruise. So we got this. I think this is the Prism Refractor. So let's see what we got here, and we got a ten. So that's cool. So that's good. We're finally getting some tens to put on our stack. Uh, I think I bought like a couple blasters when Dick's Sporting Goods had that monster blowout sale. These were like $10 a blaster. So I was like, you know what? Why not? Let me grab a couple of those. And uh, I got those two O'Neill Cruises out of the two blasters. So uh, can't complain on that one. All right, the next one, another football. Desmond Ritter, same. Prison Black Silver, same as that Malik Willis. And we got a 10 there. That is nice. Okay. Desmond Ritter is looking all right. Um, I know he had a pretty bad mistake in the the game yesterday, but, uh, I think, um, you know, I don't know. Do we hold that? Do we, do we sell that? What do we do here with, uh, with Desmond Ritter and see if he puts together a string of better games. But again, this isn't really, I don't really PC a lot of these guys, but if I see a decent card and I think it looks really good, really clean, and it's worth grading, 
then I definitely will do that. All right, so next one, we got George Pickens, and we got, this is the Legacy Silver Prism out of Chronicles. Uh, I thought it looked really good. Um, I don't know the centering, but I, I mean, I think the centering looks good. So I'm not hundred percent sure what they saw in this one, but, uh, but this got a nine. I've submitted a lot of the 2020, uh, legacy Dynagon, a lot of those silver, because you can get them for really cheap. Check my last video. You'll see, uh, I've got one of them in there and I actually did get a 10 on that. So, um, that was pretty cool, but, um, I did actually submit an order about a year ago that was, I think the entire order was Prism Silvers from that uh, 2020 season. And I think I got all nines, but two of them. So they're pretty hard on these um, cards that have been out there for a while. They've got a larger database. I don't know. You know, that's, that's kind of the guesses I can make. So, all right, let's get to the next one. We got an Alex Benellas 2021 Bowman Draft. And this is a gold wave out of 50. So we got some more gold going on. And as you can see, we got a 10. I've had amazing luck with these golds. Um, on my last video, you'll see, I think I got three out of four 10s and the other one was a nine. Um, so I got a 10 here and I think I've got, I think I have one or two more in here or one gold and one orange, I believe. So we'll take a look and see what we get on those. Um, another Kyle Stowers. So this could be the one that's, Quite the surprise, or this could be the better one, but it looks like we got the other one right below it. So we'll just do these two. So let's see, we got we got the blue, and look at that, a six. I have no idea what the heck was up with this one. Let's see if we can take a look at it. The front looks good. Um, so there's got to be something on the back. Uh, you know, I check these things really closely, and... I am not, oh, is that a crease? I don't know what that is. But man, I thought this looked good. Um, I can't tell you the last time I had a six. It's been a really long time. But I'm just going to probably crack this one open, throw it in a lot or something, because, I, yeah, I don't know. I, the front, like I said, the front looks really good. So we'll have to see uh, what's going on there. We'll put that in the, the stand for now, because <laughs> we don't have any. Actually, you know what? Let's put that, we'll put the gold. In the stand yeah there we go we'll put this guy off to the side you don't need to see him all right let's get that look at that other kyle Stowers. so let's see we're 0 for 2 so far so we got a third one did we get it the purple and we got a 10 all right cool so i'm glad i got uh got one of those at least so that's that's good to see uh so one for three on our Stowers there uh the next one we got yaswar garcia don't know much about this guy again super cheap on this one it was a nice speckle refractor out of 2022 uh, i thought it looked really good so i'm gonna i figured why not um his stuff isn't the bottom of the barrel but it's you know again right in that mid-range so i think we can probably turn around something on this one and we got a 10 so that's great so that's perfect all righty hopefully we can get this 10 stack grown a little bit more uh, let's go on this one here. This is a perfect example of a guy that, in my opinion, is doing awesome in the pros. And he's been in the pros, I think, a couple of years now. But he had a really good season uh, for the Tigers this year, Matt Veerling. Uh, his stuff is out there. And, man, is it is, is definitely cheap. It started to climb a little bit. But, uh, but I've got, I think, I think this might be my third one that I've gotten graded. And you know under 10 bucks i think you can get a lot of these this is the speckle um you know your golds and your greens are going to go for a little bit more but, but man there's some definitely some good deals on some matt veerling and again he had a great year for the tigers so let's see what we got nice we got a 10 on that one so that's great um matt veerling the speckle out of 299 perfect all right let's do the let's do the brock purdy here all right, so Brock Purdy, you cannot go wrong, I I would say. Um, again, I don't do a lot of football, but I bought a, a few Megas of Chronicles, and I pulled this. This is like the Mega Exclusive, the Recon. Not numbered or anything, but, um, you know, again, if you can get it into 10, you should be able to do well with this. So let's see. All right, so we got a 10. I remember 
looking at this card is a paper card, so I'm always a little hesitant on these, but man, it just looked perfect. Uh, everything about the surface, the corners, everything looked amazing. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and send it. And again, this is a somewhat of a short print, I guess, because it is that mega box exclusive. And I think you only get like one or two in a mega. So that was a pretty good one to pull. All right. This 10, this 10 pile is looking good. All right. Let's do the Vladimir Guerrero. So this was again out of the, that 2022 Topps Chrome where I was where I got a couple for 10 bucks a blaster. I hope Dix does that again because I don't know if you guys got any of that, but man, I don't know what they did, but they put some awesome deals out there. And I pulled this. This is the SP out of the 2022. And we got a 10. So that should be, I would think, a pretty solid one. Uh, don't PC the guy, but I have no issues holding on to this one longer term because... I would imagine he's going to have a pretty solid career. He already has. Um, so I don't know what I'm going to do with that one. But no issues holding it. No issues selling it, I think, I would say. So take a look at that. <clears throat> All right, the next one, we got Josh Hood out of 2023. Not a super sought-after prospect, but again, this guy's stuff goes for, you know, right in that range I was, I'm looking for. And this is a purple and I got a solid deal out of this out of 250. So let's see what we got. We got a 10. So I'm not going to complain about that right there for sure. Uh, PSA 10, Josh Hood, a purple out of 250. All right. So I think our 10 stack has actually eclipsed our uh, nine stack. Um, this one right here, this was my favorite card in the submission. Um, a lot of people don't know who this guy is, probably Trace Gonzalez. Solid prospect, again, in my opinion, out of uh, the Pittsburgh Pirates system. He uh, He's their leadoff hitter on their, I think, double-A team. Um, High-A or double-A, I'd, I'd have to go back and check, but put together a solid season. Uh, younger guy, this is out of draft. And he was, he was drafted in the fifth round, uh, 2022, so... He's really just kind of getting started, and he's already moved up a level or two, so that's that's good to see. But this is the orange out of 25. So I was definitely excited slash nervous about this. Um, but again, we got a 10, so that's that's awesome. Um, I, again, I don't know what it is. I've had such good luck with the golds and the, the low-numbered cards, but I'm like I'm terrible with the base and the refractor autos for some reason. I don't know what it is. Uh, there just aren't enough of them to compare to, maybe. I'm not. I'm just not really sure. I don't know. I don't know what to make of it. But uh, let's finish off our last two here. We've got Cade Dowdy. Uh, kind of a mid-range in the top 30 of the Blue Jays system. I want to say like 15 or 20-ish ranked um, younger guy. And he was drafted second round 2022. So uh, put together, again, it's a pretty solid season. So he should... Hopefully be uh, pretty good again next year. And this was just a base, but that got a 10. Again, that looks super clean. I'm like, you know, why not? I'm going to send that in all day. And I think I got that for like five bucks. So anytime I can get a, a solid deal like that, I'm going to give it a try. All right, last card. We're going to end on a hopefully a banger here. This is a gold. Um, like I said, let's see if the luck continues on the gold. Tim Tawa. Um, Arizona Diamondbacks prospect, again, a guy you can definitely get for a decent steal. Had an excellent season, uh, 11th round, 2021. Uh, his first was in 2023. That's what you'll see here. And this is the gold shimmer. I think I got this for like $15. Um, and it looked amazing. So I figured, why not send that in? And look at that. We got a 10, so that's perfect. Um, these golds, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just only going to buy golds, I guess for now. Cause I seem to be doing pretty well on those, but, uh, there we go. So we've got, again, our goal, as we talked about last time is 50% gem rate. I think we're about 60 is my guess on this one. So cannot complain at all. That is pretty solid. Uh, except for this guy here. Uh, anybody wants this, let me know. I, uh, if you're a big Kyle Stowers fan, not much I can do with this card, but uh, happy to happy to share it with somebody who, who can appreciate it. Uh, but uh, thanks, everybody, for tuning in. 
Uh, more reveals to come, and as I mentioned, we're going to do some some videos here pretty soon around pre-submission. Um, I've got a submission I'm getting ready probably in the next week or two, so I'll almost like be doing a pre-submission video, and um, and then I'll also do one around um, shipping and packing for PSA because I know I know when I was when I was learning or when I was going to first do my submissions. I was out there looking for videos and there's not a ton out there. So I'm happy to put one together for you guys on how to submit your cards. And I think this is like my 20th submission. So hopefully I got it right by now. But uh, anyway, see you guys later and uh, until next time.